Hey, it's Kyle here, and it's time for my next book review. Today I'll be reviewing Monster by A. Lee Martinez. Uh, really unique, interesting, standalone book. Highly recommend it. I really enjoyed it a lot. I actually got this book um, earlier this year at a Friends of the Library uh, used book sale. I'd never heard of the author, but the um, time, it's one of those things I happened to see the front cover. It kind of looked interesting. Picked it up, read the back cover. I was like, oh, that sounds unique. And since it's a, you know, at that book sale, it was just a dollar for a paperback. I'm like, no, that's, that's probably worth a dollar. I'll check it out. I might not like it because I'm not familiar with the author. I don't know if he's good or not. But boy, am I glad I picked up this book because really enjoyed it, loved it. Um, I really can't say any more in that regard other than I highly recommend it. So let me get into telling you a little bit about what the book's about. Uh, the name character is actually a uh, monster. That's actually his name. It's actually his nickname. They never really, at least if they did, I missed it, actually said what his real name is. So you just know him by monster in the book. And he works for a department of animal control that specializes in catching supernatural um, creatures. Um, think of stuff like uh, yetis or werewolves or... Uh, uh, dragons, uh, creatures like that. And the basic premise of this book is actually it's set in our world. It's not set in some other reality where these creatures exist on a regular basis. But the premise of this book is uh, that most humans just do not notice these magical creatures. That our brains wire the wrong way. So when we come across these magical uh, creatures, our brain just... Um, interpret it in a way that we can understand it. So when we see, like for example, uh, a Yeti um, going through a grocery store um, eating like meat out of the frozen meat section, we interpret it as like a wild bear has got in the grocery store. Um, that type of stuff. So our brain interprets it in some way that we can understand that makes sense with, with the reality as we understand it. But for some humans, the way their brain is developed they can actually see these creatures for what they really are. It's a very small segment of the population, but basically they're, they're aware of this magical element of uh, Earth. Some understand it because been, it's been explained to them, and um, they become kind of like people like Monster, who learns to be a part of this reality. Other ones really don't know what's going on. A lot of times this leads to them going crazy because they can see something, and they explain something like, I, hate, I just saw a dragon, but everybody else is like, what are you talking? There wasn't a dragon there. That house just burnt down from a gas explosion. There was no dragon that set it on fire. And that's kind of the basic premise of this book, is that um, uh, a lady who's working in a grocery store encounters a Yeti, calls animal control because she doesn't know what else to do. Monster come and helps solve the situation. And then she becomes obsessed with like, well, what's going on here? I don't understand it, and she tries to delve into this world with monster and try to understand what's going on. At the same time, there's another storyline going on where there's a very powerful, magical entity that we really don't know who it is and what they are until the towards the end of the book that's trying to co control reality in some way in our Earth, and it's kind of hinted at that her plan involves the destruction of all humanity. So you can completely control magic. Um, but most of the book is centered around Monster and his adventures um, catching magical creatures, but at the same time being caught up in this larger struggle between the ma non-magic world and the magic world as they are basically colliding. It's very interesting. I would kind of compare it elements to kind of like something like Buffy the Vampire Slayer or the TV series Grimm where you have a, a reality where most of the world is not aware of kind of these magical or um, supernatural creatures, but yeah, a certain small segment is, and they're trying to control this as best as possible so the rest of the world is basically able to function as normal. Um, has a, this book has a great sense of humor, and there's definitely a lot of humor scattered throughout it. Uh, so if you like reading books that have a lot of laughs in it, I would certainly recommend uh, Monster. Um, kind of going off my last uh, comments, if you like shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer or Grimm, I think you'll enjoy the concept of this book. If you like this really good sci-fi, um, 
novels. I think you'll really enjoy this. The fantasy element of it, certainly. Um, if you're looking for a really good standalone book, I would really recommend this. You know, a lot of uh, books tend to, to be today a part of a bigger series, so if you commit to reading one book, you're almost like, well, if I like this one book, I have to read three more or five more or ten more books, whatever, how many are in the series. And sometimes that can be a little daunting, and there's been cases where I haven't picked up a book because, like, it looks good, but at the time I still have time to commit to read another series. So it's always nice when I come across a standalone book that I can enjoy because I know, like, I don't have to invest enough time to read this one book. If I enjoy it, it's great. If not, it's not a, it hasn't been a waste of my time. So I'd really recommend that you read Monster by Ailey Martinez. Um, if you read anything good lately, let me know in the comment section below. I'm always looking for recommendations. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. And um, hope you'll have a great 2017. Um, I'll be posting this right before the new year. So hope your 2016 was awesome. And 2017, you'll read a lot of great books. So I'll see you the next time.